चक्षुन्मी तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम दधाति स्वदाक वंदेह श्री गुरु श्रीयुत पदकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्री सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नम ओं विष्णुपाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातारिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गधाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सो वेलकम टू द हार्ट ऑफ सनातन शिक्षा द टीचिंग्स ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य टू सनातन गोस्वामी वी आर ऑन चैप्टर टू सॉरी चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू and uh, yesterday uh, we discussed uh, the qualification to practice bhakti shraddha and the classification of the devotees based on that shraddha <clears throat> shraddha anusari previous to that we the whole theme was how uh, we attain devotion by a devotee's mercy and how we attain krishna's mercy how krishna bestows his mercy upon the jeevas and how by its krishna mercy we attain a pure devotee's mercy and we gain shraddha and this shraddha is classified <coughs> in three types shraddha anusari classification is three types kanishta <coughs> madhyama and uttam shraddha anusari so yesterday we in discuss uh, sorry in detail we discussed this uh, definitions uh, which mahaprabhu himself is giving and what is also there in the uh, bhakti rasamrit sindhu but most important uh, when we have faith in krishna's instruction in the gita ultimately that conclusion of the gita the sarva dharman parityaj 18.65 and 66 when we have faith that is actually purna shraddha till then it is development of shraddha and till that development of shraddha is there tavat karma ni kurita that time you should do your karma <clears throat> shraddha yavan na jayate till that shraddha you don't attain so <clears throat> na nirvedet you completely become disgusted with doing any material activities till then you have to you <clears throat> know so this shraddha which is spoken is of a very exalted platform and that's why in the next verse is shraddha shabde vishwas sudrida nishchay 
And if I serve Krishna, then I serve the root of everything, the whole creation. Because Vishnu is the root of the whole creation. Yata Tarora Mulimisechana. And this Shraddha is Kanishta Madhyama Uttama Shraddha Nusari. So we all saw the definitions of uh, uh, Mahaprabhu as well as <clears throat> uh, Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. They were very similar definitions. Then the classification of devotees based on Rati, <clears throat> Prema, attachment and love. And in that purport, Prabhupada is making it very clear that uh, the new fight, the Kanishadikari has not had developed firm faith and his he is not free and transcendental and his devotion is mixed. So until he comes to the Madhyama, till then, he is, uh, he is not qualified for practicing Ananya Bhakti in one sense. So yesterday we saw that purpose quite in detail. And then uh, Mahaprabhu is quoting the Bhagavatam verses of Kanishta Uddhama Madhyama definitions. First he quotes Uttama. That is Sarva Bhuteshu Yapashe, and then Madhyama Ishwarata Dadinishu, and then Archayam Evahare, that is the Kanishta. So, yesterday, till here, we have discussed. So, today we will continue our discussion. <clears throat> so, we have seen this classification of devotees uh, based on Shraddha, and then based on uh, Rati and Prem, and then uh, now we will come to the next theme, which is from 75 to 92, Vaishnav qualities and Vaishnav Anu association. Okay, text uh, 75. Sarva Maha Guna Gana Vaishnava Sharire Krishna Bhakti Krishna Raguna Sakale Sanchare. A Vaishnava is one who has developed all good transcendental qualities. Sarva Maha Guna Gana Vaishnava Sharire. All the good qualities of Krishna gradually develop in Krishna's devotee. Krishna Bhakta Krishna Raguna Sakala Sanchare. All Krishna's qualities uh, manifest in the Krishna Bhakta. This is what uh, Mahaprabhu states. And then, as a reference, he quotes this famous verse from uh, the fifth canto, Prahlad Maharaj speaking. Yasyasti Bhaktir Bhagavatya Kinchana. Sarver gunas tatra samasa te suraha Arava bhaktasya kuto mahad guna Manorate nasati dhavato bahi One who has unflinging devotion to in Krishna. What kind of devotion it is? Bhaktir akinchana. So only when one has ananya bhakti, then all these qualities develop. So my question to the audience here is, uh, we all know that the characteristics of uh, Uttama Bhakti are six. Kleshagni, Shubhada. And then these manifest in the Sadhana Bhakti. And then there are two more characteristics which manifest in Bhava Bhakti. That is um, <clears throat> Sandra, you know, sorry, Sudurlaba and Moksha Lagutakrit. And in Prema Bhakti, two more qualities manifest. That is <clears throat> Sandranan Visheshatma and Sri Krishna Akarshan. So my question is that uh, when do these qualities, Sarva Maha Guna, it was mentioned, Krishna Guna come in Krishna's youth. When these qualities manifest in the sadhaka, at what stage in our, our devotional practice? Either you can speak in terms of Kanishta Madhyam Uttama from Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu perspective or from the stages of devotion <coughs> which is uh, uh, beginning with Shraddha. Shraddha is not actually one stage beginning from Sadhu Sangha to Prema. Anyone would like to answer? One hand has been raised. Anyone else? I think I'll have to ask so that devotees also. Uh, first, we'll give a chance to Archana Mataji. Yes, Mataji. It has to be Uttam Bhakti. Uttam Can you speak a little loudly, please? Just a minute. 
Uh, it has to be uttam stage. Uttama. Uttam stage. Okay. Fine. Rangana Charam Guruji, you have some other viewpoint to present? No. Once one achieves the stage of Asakti. Asakti. Okay. Uh, Virendra Yadav Prabhuji. You had raised your hand, no? Virendra Yadav Prabhuji. Uh, Hare Krishna, Guru Dhanatma. Prabhu, it is, uh, uh, it is Madhyama and uh, at stage of Nishta. Yes, it is Madhyama and the stage of Nishta. In one sense, when one, you know, becomes... We are very clear now from Prabhupada purports itself that uh, only at the Madhyama stage one is qualified for Ananya Bhakti. So at the stage of Madhyama, uh, Kleshagni has almost, you know, Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu, Bhagavatam says, Pray, Abhadra is gone. So in one sense, when we are now practicing even as uh, sadhakas, uh, we see that, you know, all unwanted habits are gone. Drinking tree and coffee, all bad habits, all are gone and we are developing good qualities. But this is to the, come to the platform of a human being. The four regulative principles are not uh, the principles of Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. They are the principles to, they are sub-religious principles to come to the human platform. But when we take up to actually, when we become adhikar to practice, uh, take up to Ananya Bhakti and get the adhikar to practice Ananya Bhakti at the stage of Madhyam Adhikari, then the qualities start manifesting from the stage of Nishna. And of course, they start increasing with Ruchi, Asakti, Bhava, and Prem. They go on expanding in one sense. The compassion, generally, a Madhyam Adhikari has compassion. That's why he preaches. And that compassion goes on expanding then as he goes to higher and higher levels. So that is the understanding. I hope it is satisfactory to all of you. Hmm? So here, the I took up this because to explain that, you know, these qualities, yasya asti, one who has bhakti, what type of bhakti? Akhinchana bhakti towards Bhagwan. All the good qualities of Krishna and the demigods are consistently manifest. So this is Prabhupada's translation and Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu also translates. Sarve gunas tatra samasate sura. Now sura, many times in if you see the Bhagavatam translation, it refers all the good qualities of the demigods manifest. So Rup Goswami in his uh, uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and Jeev Goswami in his commentary mentioned that how can, you know, those who are demigod worshippers, they can get the good qualities of demigods. So how can devotees, you know, uh, get only qualities of demigods? No. Sura refers to Krishna beginning and Krishna is followed by, you know, demigods are representative of Krishna. So not only all the qualities of demigods, all the qualities of Krishna. Because even whatever qualities or potencies, the vibhutis, what demigods possess, it is coming from Krishna. So in that sense, Sura refers to Krishna. So that's why here the translation, interestingly, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita is of Krishna and the demigods are consistently manifested. Whereas the Bhagavatam translation is not so. If you see the Bhagavatam translation, you can have a look if you are, as far as I remember, let us see, 518. It's important sometimes we... Because I was uh, also first time when I studied Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, I was surprised how the demigods' qualities come in the devotees. The devotees are not the devotees of demigods, they are the devotees of Krishna. So, so Prabhupada gives these uh, various translations in various of his works and we have to have a very broad understanding uh, and looking into all these contexts. So that's always uh, recommended. 5, 18, 12. Let us see. Yeah. All the demigods and their exalted qualities, such as religion, knowledge, renunciation, become manifest in the body of one who has developed unalloyed devotion to the personality of God and Vasudeva. 
So all the demigods and their exalted qualities. You can see here. And you see the translation here. All the good qualities of Krishna and the demigods. So that's why we should, uh, you know, proper translates differently and we have to uh, have a very broad understanding. However, he who has no devotion to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Harav Abhattasya, has no good qualifications. Uto Mahatmana, because he is engaged in engaged by mental concoction in material existence. Mano Rathena Asati, Dhavato Bhai, which is the external feature of the Lord. So this is Prabhupada says this was spoken by Prahlad Maharaj and his followers who were offering prayers to Narsimha Dev. Text 77. Any questions regarding this point, what we discussed? If you have, you can always, you are always free to ask. Say Sabagunahai Vaishnava Lakshan Sabakaha Kaha Nayaya Karidiga Darshan. All these transcendental qualities are the characteristics of pure Vaishnavas. See now, Prabhupada, you know, Vaishnav means now, Prabhupada is making it very clear. Vaishnav means pure Vaishnavas. So here he is making a little distinction and they cannot be fully explained. But I shall try to point out some of the important qualities. So these are the qualities. Kripalu akrit droha satya sarasama nidosha vadanya brudu suchi akinchana sarvopakara shanta krishneka sharana akama aniha stira vijata shadaguna Mittabuk a pramatta mana manada amani Gambira karuna maitri kavidaksha mauni. Devotees are always merciful, kripalu, humble, akrita droha, truthful, satyasar, equal to all, sama, nidosha, faultless, magnanimous, vadhanya, mild, mrudu, clean, suchi. They are without material possessions, akinchana, and they perform welfare work for everyone. <clears throat> Sarvopakar. They are peaceful, shanta, surrendered to Krishna and desireless. Krishna Kasharana Akam. They are indifferent to material acquisitions. <clears throat> that is Aniha, Stira, fixed in devotional service. They completely control the six bad qualities, lust, anger, greed, and so forth. Vijita Shadguna. They eat, eat only as much as required. Mitabhuk. And they are not inaberated. A pramatta. They are respectful. Manada. Grave. Gambhir. Compassionate. Karuna. And without false prestige. Without for Amani, let's say. They are friendly, Maitreya, poetic, Kavi, Daksha, expert, Mauni, silence. So these are the 26 qualities which are there in the Vaishnava. And we should uh, uh, strive to cultivate these qualities. These qualities automatically manifest with Akinchana Bhakti, but we should also strive to uh, cultivate. And the way we strive to cultivate is to strive to practice Ananya Bhakti. Because with the practice of Ananya Bhakti, these qualities will come. So among these uh, 26 qualities, which is the most important quality? Which is called as the Mukya Guna. Which is the most important quality here? Who will answer this? Mm -hmm. Okay, Varendra Yadav Prabhuji. Yes. Uh, Prabhu, it is humility. Parsarthi Prabhuji. Uh, the same answer. Humble. Humble. Okay, any other answer? Mm -hmm. Anyone else has? Mm, yes, Archana Mataji. It's equal to all. Equal to all. Okay. Any other answers? 
So I, I think one after another, the every will start uh, hitting on any of the 26. Let us see. Sunita Mataji. Yes. Krishna Ika Saranam. Yes. This is not just a yes work, I feel, I'm sure. <laughs> Krishna Ika Saranam. That we have to see that this person has surrendered to Krishna. Even these, these qualities are secondary. The primary qualities we should see is Krishna Iksharana. And if he has surrendered to Krishna, these qualities might not manifest in him, but they are there in the dormant form and anytime they can manifest. So this is what we should see. That is why we should not see fault in devotees. That's what uh, you know, Bhaktivinoda Thakur in the Harinam Chintamani goes in that discussion. So we should see this Krishna Iksharana and we should work in this direction. So there is a reference now. Tatikshava Karunika Surida Sarva Dehinam Ajata Shatrava Shantaha Sadhava Sadhu Bhushana. Devotees are always tolerant. Tatikshva, forbearing and very merciful. Karunika. They are well wishers of every living being. Surida Sarva Dehinam. They follow the scriptural injunctions. Sadhu Bhushana. And because they have no enemies, Ajata Shatrava, they are very peaceful, Shanta. These are the de decorations of a devotee, Sadhu. Sadhava is following the scriptural injunction. Sadhu Bhushana is decorations of a devotee. So this is the first reference he gives. Okay, there's a question. Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Guru Dhanatham. just clarification. Uh, we can relate 13.8 to 12 with these qualities? No, 13.12 to uh, 8 to 12 are the qualities uh, of a jnani. There are 20 items of knowledge which a jnani has to practice. And in that, there is only one element of bhakti that is mai chanani yogena bhakti avyavicharani. There is one element of bhakti they practice. So that is jnana mishra bhakti. This 26 qualities you can relate to 12.13 uh, 12 to 12.20 in the Gita, in the bhakti section. Right. Krishna speaks about various qualities in various different parts in the Gita. See, in the Sita Pragya section, he speaks of the qualities of a Sita Pragya. <clears throat> And then he speaks about the qualities of the jnani in the fifth chapter. What all qualities he has got. Then he speaks about the qualities of the Ashtang Yogi in the sixth chapter. Then in the Bhakti section also he speaks about some qualities in the tenth chapter. In the twelfth chapter, you know, covers everything what all other qualities he has spoken everywhere. In the thirteenth chapter again he speaks about the qualities that is the Jnana Mishra Bhakti. In the eighteenth chapter he again speaks about the qualities of the jnani. So, among all these qualities, the, all these qualities are not same. They are referring to different, different devotees. Some are karma yogis, some are uh, jnana yogis, some are ashtang yogis. But Ananya Bhaktas, he speaks only in 12.13 to 12.20. I hope it is clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, so this is the first scriptural reference. Prabhupada says, this is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 325-21. When the sages headed by Shaunaka inquired about Kapil Dev, the incarnation of Godhead, Sud Goswami, who was the topmost devotee of the Lord, quoted talks about self-relation between Vidur and Maitreya, a friend of Vyasadeva. So within the Vidur Maitreya Samvad comes the Kapil Samvad. And these questions were asked by Shonaka, who is, uh, and Sudh Goswami was narrating. During these talks, the topic of Lord Kapila had come up, and at that time, Maitre had repeated Kapil Dev's discussion with his mother, wherein the Lord states that attachment to material things is the cause of conditioned life. When a person becomes attached to transcendental things, he is on the path of liberation. So, this is second reference. He is giving now. Mahat sevam dwaram ahur vimukte tamo dwaram yoshitam sangi sangam mahantaste 
समचित्ता प्रशांता विमान्यवा सुरद साधव ये इट इज द वर्डिक्ट ऑफ ऑल शास्त्र एंड ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज महानता That service to a pure devotee is the path of liberation. Mahat sevam dwaram ahu 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 vimukte. By contrast, associating with materialistic people who are attached to material enjoyment and women is the path of darkness. Tamo dwaram yoshitam sami sangam. Those who are actually devotees are broad-minded, equal to everyone, and very peaceful. Mahanta te samachitta. Prashanta, they never become angry. Vimanya by manya means anger. Manya manya means anger, and they are friendly. Surida of all living entities, sadhava. These are the sadhus. These are the great personalities. So this uh, this is one reference for these qualities. This is one. You know, litmus test to find out whether we have these qualities. Whether we are titikshwa, karunika. and then this is the second quality <clears throat> now uh, mahaprabhu continues after giving this uh, two references krishna bhakti janma mula haya sadhu sang krishna prema janme te ho puna mukya ang the root cause of devotional service to lord krishna is association with advanced devotees please mark this so here sadhu sang Prabhupad is very clear. He is speaking about these sadhus who have these qualities and these sadhus here. Very rare to find such a soul. Mukta naam api siddha naam Narayana Parayana. Sudur laba prashant atma koti shapi mahamune. So very very rare to find such a sadhu who has these qualities. So Prabhupad is speaking that when you have This kind of sadhu, then Krishna bhakti janma. Even when one's dormant love for Krishna, even when one's dormant love for Krishna awakens, association with devotees is still most essential. So, if you have developed love for Krishna, also that time also sadhu sang is required. <laughs> Not that that time you don't need sadhu sanga. You know, you will have to be always protected by the barrier of association of sadhus. so this is the reference that how krishna bhakta janma mula hai sadhu sangha bhavo pargo bramato yada bhavet janasya tar achut sat samagama sat sangamo yarihata deva sat gato paravareshe tvai jayate rati janma mula hai sadhu sangha jayate rati birth for attraction to the lord is because of satsangama so this is the reference now from muchukundar prayer oh my lord infallible supreme person achuta when a person wandering throughout the universe becomes eligible for liberation bhavo parga bramato yada bhavej liberation from material existence he gets an opportunity to associate with devotees janasya tare achut satsamagama he gets association of a sats sadhu when he associates with devotees sat sangamo his attraction for you is awakened jayate rati you are the supreme personality of god at paravareshe the highest goal of the topmost devotees and the lord of the universe so this is a, a reference for this verse krishna bhakta janma and this sadhu is also you know the same sadhu which as previous two verses were speaking i hope you are following the flow in the chaitanya charitamrit verses so uh i had spoken about this uh, verse last time also so i'll not repeat it here again that how first the result is mentioned that you will attain liberation first you attain association then you attain liberation but here <clears> touch <throat> is the glory of uh advanced devotee is that first the result itself is mentioned that you are eligible for liberation <laughs> and uh, just by associating with this sadhus this sadhu is of a very high caliber 
as it was mentioned in the previous verses. So this kind of sadhu association is very, very, very rare, where you get that kind of faith where you can do Sarva Dharma and Paritajya. Recently, I was uh, hearing one Bhagavatam class given by a very senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada. He is a Grahastha. Uh, his grace, Krutu Prabhu. Both he and his wife were there. And uh, they narrated how they, he was an engineer in Canada uh, or America, I think. And Prabhupada visited and uh, somehow they had darshan of Prabhupada. Prabhupada came to their house and he asked, Prabhupada asked, uh, what are you doing? He said, I'm an engineer in this multinational company. So Prabhupada said, there are many engineers, many doctors. So there are no preachers. Why don't you become a preacher? So just by hearing these instructions from Prabhupada, next day, he resigned from his job. He surrendered all, sold all his property. All the bank balance, he gave it to Prabhupada. And full time, both husband and wife joined as preachers. And till now, even at this age, they are continuing to preach. Sarva Dharman Paritajya. This is the kind of sadhu association. That is the kind of sadhu uh, association can, you know, uh, give us that kind of, you know, bhakti, faith by which we can surrender and take up to Shuddha Bhakti. There is another verse quoted. Second reference this is Ata Atyantikam Shemam Prichamo Bhavato Nagaha Samsarismin Shanar Dopi Satsanga Sevadhir Nranam. O devotees, O you who are free from all sins, Anagam, let me inquire from you about that which is supremely auspicious for all living entities. Atyantikam shemam prachami. I will inquire. Association with a pure devotee for even half a moment. Shana Arda in this material world is the greatest treasure for human society. Satsanga Sevad Pir Ranam. Third reference Satam Prasangan Mamavirya Samvida Bhavanti Hritkarna Rasayana Kata. The spiritual powerful messages of Godhead can be properly discussed only in the society of devotees. And it is greatly pleasing to hear Satam Prasangan Mamavire Samvido Bhavanti Ritkarna Rasayana Kata It is Rasayana Kata if one devotee, if one hears from devotees, the way of transcendental experience quickly opens and gradually one attains firm faith, shraddha. Here the faith here refers to not uh, the Lokika faith or the Kanishta who has faith. It is firm faith. And in due course develops attraction, rati and devotion, bhakti. Bhakti means here it is prema because attraction, rati means bhava. And shraddha here means Shraddha Shabde Vishwas. That is the stage of Nishta. <laughs> Anukramishyati. So this is a quotation from Bhagavatam 325-25. And Prabhupada's explanation is on Adi Lila. So I hope you are able to follow, follow the flow of the verses here in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Any questions or any clarifications here? Yes, Parsarthi Prabhuji. Uh, Prabhuji, just now this verse has been that uh, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam in the society of devotees. Uh, so, uh, practically in today's scenario, what is the uh, uh, kind of devotees we should aspire to hear Srimad Bhagavatam from? Because there are different types of devotees. Correct. Correct. So, Correct. What, uh, so aspiring, 
uh, it might not be every time possible but mm-hmm. uh, we should always give uh, most importance to in today practical scenario yeah in the practical scenario wherever we are placed kshetra <clears throat> in that kshetra we have to see practically like who whom we have uh, affinity it is called as sajatiya like mindedness who are also seniors who also speak uh, and uh, you know by hearing that we are getting nourished and uh, we are being inspired to practice devotion so from them we should hear and always recommended for us to hear is from the mahabhagavats but if the mahabhagavats you know are not there in wherever shetri you are then you can always hear their lectures their recordings but at the same time we should also go and hear live lectures so we have to have a combination and uh, uh, make the best use of the bad bargain i can say here so in that sense we'll have to look into all these aspects and uh, keep a balance and most important principle is that we have to see that um, the more advanced the devotees are and uh, uh, hearing from them is the best and uh, from those who are able to inspire us to go deeper into krishna consciousness inspire us to take more uh, krishna consciousness practice more seriously and we are inspired to go ahead in krishna consciousness who are able to resolve our doubts and we feel that um, you know our uh, core issues are addressed and we feel that uh, i am making progress my understanding of bhakti literature is becoming clear so all this uh, adds up and this is how we'll have to look into i hope it is clear thank you prachi i have another question mm-hmm. prachi uh, my other question is uh, how do you understand an uttam adhikari his <laughs> mind uh, i mean like your guru maharaj how do you understand the, what he is intending cuz very difficult we can all understand by hearing by hearing we can understand everything hearing reveals everything hearing le- re- reveals the level of consciousness so we should hear and by hearing slowly uh and then studying the shastras symptoms are lakshanas are there sita pragya se ka bhasha <clears throat> what is the language whether he speaks sanskrit bengali no what are the symptoms so sita pragya se ka bhasha is there bhasha means you know not just the you know which language he speaks bhasha means you know how he is situated in self realization you know he doesn't have any material desires prajati yada kaman sarvan partha manovatan so by lakshanas you can understand so everything has lakshanas and we should ourselves study the lakshanas carefully observe carefully hear an ayurvedic physician when a diseased patient comes he <clears throat> he uh, diagnoses him based on prashna examination observation the last thing is reports <laughs> nowadays uh, you know in the medical field especially the allopathy field they just cannot understand anything by lakshanas for everything they need a report <laughs> but an ayurvedic doctor you know forget even a report even examining him or speaking and uh, talking to him just by seeing him he can you know recognize what is a disease that is you know so similarly lakshanas are the best way to identify and by hearing regularly is it clear provision thank you prabhu yes okay any other questions okay so we continue now you can see the full flow in the chaitanya charitamrita i just want to give you a glimpse here so just go through the flow here uh, very carefully it's very very important 
Uh, I'm just going back. Abhidhe is the tattva. <laughs> I am going to speak Abhidhe, Mahaprabhu said. There are Nitya Baddha and Nitya Mudha, Mukta. Nitya, Bak, Mukta, Nitya Baddha, by practicing Abhidhe, they also can become Nitya Mukta. That is what. And Abhidhe is Bhakti, not Jnana or Yoga. And how Bhakti is Balwan and Karma, Jnana, Yoga, Tuchifal. <laughs> so all that was explained by Mahaprabhu. And Krishna, how he bestows his mercy. And then how the devotees bestow mercy. By devotees mercy, we attain, you know, devotion, bhakti. And that begins with Shraddha. So that's why Shraddha Nisari, there is classification of Kanishta Madhyama Uttama. And there was also the classification of devotees based on Rati and Prem. And these Vaishnavas who are there, they have qualities. And associating with these Vaishnavas who have these qualities, then what will happen? We will attain uh, Bhakti to Krishna and we can attain liberation. At the same time, association with non-devotees can be a bondage. So now, uh, the do's and the don'ts. Satsang, we should have association. Asatsang, we should give up. So that is like the first do's and don'ts uh, which is being uh, given by Mahaprabhu here. So now he is giving this very important verse. Asatsang atyag e vaishnavachar sri sangi ek asado krishna bhakta ar Vaishnava should always avoid the association of ordinary people. Satsangatyag. Common people are very much materially attached, especially to women. Stri Sangi. Vaishnava should also avoid the company of those who are not devotees of Lord Krishna. Stri Sangi Ekasadu. Krishna Abhaktar. So, Asatsang, avoid association of ordinary people. Avoid Stri Sangi because he is a sadhu. And abhaktas. We have to avoid abhaktas. And now, he gives this entire verse. I think this is from the Bhagavatam, which Kapil gave himself his quoting. Satyam saucham daya maunam buddhir hir shir yashar shama shamo damo bhagash cheti yad sangad yati sangshayam Teshva Asanteshu Mudeshu Khanditat Masva Asadushu Sangamna Kuryat Josheshu Yoshit Krida Mrugeshu Cha Na Tatasya Bhaven Moho Bandas Chanya Prasangata Yoshit Sangata Yatha Pumsa Yatha Tat Sangi Sangata. Now the same thing what uh, Mahaprabhu has said he is giving a scriptural proof from the Kapil Shiksha. By association with worldly people one becomes devoid of truthfulness, satyam, cleanliness, saucham, mercy, daya, gravity, spiritual intelligence. Please think about it. Just by associating with worldly people you know, all this will be lost. Shyness, austerity, Fame, forgiveness, control of the mind, control of the senses, shama, dhamma, fortune. Bhag, bhaga means fortune and all opportunities. One should not at any time associate with a coarse fool who is bereft of knowledge and self of self-relation and who is no more than the toy animal in the hands of a woman. Yoshit krida murgeshucha. The illusion and bondage that occur to a man from attachment to a, any other object is not as complete as that resulting from the association with a woman. Na tatasya bhaven moho bandas chanya prasangata. So this refers to 
not only for a man to a woman and for it, it refers the other way also for a woman to the man also or with men who are too attached to women yoshit sangat yata pumsa yata tat sangi sangata so i'll just finish the purport and then take up the question these verses quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam 331-33 was spoken by Kapil Dev, an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead to his mother. Herein, Kapil Dev discusses pious and impious activities and the symptoms of those who are devoid of devotional service to Krishna. Generally, people do not know about the miserable conditions within the womb of a mother in any species of life. Due to bad association, one gradually falls into lower species. Association with women is greatly stressed in this regard. When one becomes attached to women or those who are attached to women, one falls down into lower species. Purusha prakriti stohi bhunte prakriti rinjan gunan karana guna sangasya sadda sad yoni janmasu. So there are two things one is spoken. Uh, one who becomes attached to the woman or there are men who are attached to women. So among the two, which is more dangerous? Who would like to answer this? If there is any question, I'll take it up after this purport. Yes, Parsatitoji. Men who are attached to women. Men who are attached to women. Because we don't know. We are just attached to them, but they are deeply attached to the women. So that is more dangerous. Similarly, Vishwana Chakra Thakur uh, brings out this point from this uh, verse that which is better, association of Krishna or association of a pure devotee who is deeply attached to Krishna? Who will answer this? Which is better? I would like to see others. Yes, Sunita Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prashtina Pranam. Association of a pure devotee attached to Krishna. Why? <laughs> because uh, the pure devotee is going to uh, he is going to get the qualities of Krishna. If he is associated. Okay. Any other reason? Because even if you associate with Krishna, Krishna will not give himself to him. He cannot give love for him. But a pure devotee can live, give love for Krishna. Because, you know, only pure devotees possess Krishna. They can give Krishna to others. But Krishna, Krishna's association, even the demons had in the Vrindavan Leela. But they did not attain Krishna. Prem. <clears throat> so this is the quality of a Mahabhagavat. Krishna is only available through his pure devotees. So that's the point. So similarly, the opposite is also true here. That's what the point I wanted to make. According to Vedic civilization, one's association with women should be very much restricted. In spiritual life, there are four ashramas, Brahmachari, Grahastha, Vanaprastha and Sanyas. The Brahmachari, Vanaprastha and Sanyasis are completely forbidden to associate with women. Only Grahasthas are allowed to associate with women under certain, under certain very much restricted conditions. That is, one associates with women to propagate nice children. Other reasons for associations are condemned. So, Prabhupada's purport is very heavy here. Okay, now he'll give the references. There was one question uh, by Rina Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes, you can ask. Prabhuji? Yes. Hare Krishna. Uh, uh, Prabhuji, I have told you that Asat Tyag. So it's very difficult for us to, 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 to Asat Sang Tyag. Like we are a devotee in our family. 
मतलब कोई हमारे क्लोज रिलेटिव भी है जो भक्ति में नहीं है और कोई फ्रेंड्स है जो बहुत साल से है भक्ति में नहीं है तो इमीडिएट हम लोग उनका संग त्याग नहीं सकते हैं तो जो भूमते भोजते च षड विधिर प्रीति लक्षण सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन ऑफिस यू नो यू आर अ मैनेजर एंड यू आर हैविंग अ टीम एंड यू आर स्पीकिंग टू देम टू डील विद योर ऑफिस रिलेटेड वर्क दैट इज नॉट संगा सो रियल संगा इज वेन यू वेन यू स्टार्ट यू नो हैविंग एक्सचेंजेस सो वेन यू स्टार्ट हैविंग दिस एक्सचेंजेस मीन्स यू आर गिविंग योर हार्ट दैट्स वेन द कॉन्शियसनेस गेट्स अफेक्टेड सो वी हैव टू बी लाइक दैट you know we have told many times the story of the crocodile and the monkey <coughs> how the monkey was on the other side of the bank and the crocodile is to you know uh cross the river and the monkey had good friendship <laughs> this male crocodile ultimately had his wife and the wife wanted to eat the monkey so although this male crocodile was very close and having good friendship with the monkey because to satisfy his wife this time he went on the other side and invited my wife has prepared a nice feast please come <laughs> so the monkey jumped in and the crocodile how will i come no i'll carry on my back so he jumped on and then he was going on the back but then he was feeling a little guilty and he spoke you know my wife wants to actually eat your heart <laughs> the monkey became tense now what to do <laughs> we are in the midst of the river and uh, some of he used his intelligence said are you should have told me that your wife wanted to eat my heart i have left my heart on the tree let's go back quickly let me get it so some of the crocodile was bewildered and he turned back and when they reached the bank the monkey jumped back on the tree <laughs> and got saved so the moral of the story from this panchar tantra is that ultimately we should not give our heart association means associating with their desires the materialist tell chalo let's go for a movie today and we you know if we go along with that then it will affect us so if we follow our principles and for our social dealings whatever is necessary we do that that's not considered as association you have to have that deeper understanding i i hope it is clear I hope it's clear, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, yes, Prabhu Ji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Okay. Yeah. So now, after this, uh, Asat Sangtyag and what are the effects of it was uh, narrated in this Kapil Shiksha. This was the first scriptural reference. now the second scriptural reference is given here this is from some samita i think varam huta vah jwala panjarantar vyavasthitai nashauri chinta vimuk jana samvas vaishay sam it is better to accept the miseries of being engaged within bars and surrounded by burning flames then to associate with those bereft of krishna consciousness such association is a very great hardship so what does this verse really literally mean do you literally follow this that you know you are in the uh, in the train and all materialists are sitting so you just burn the flames around yourself so that you don't associate with them what does this mean who would like to uh, uh, give a purport to this verse anyone
यस राधा भावनी माता जी प्रभु जी इट्स अ कंपैरिजन बीइंग गिवन टू शो हाउ डेंजरस इट इज टू एसोसिएट विद दोस हु आर बेरिफ्ट ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस यस नाउ बट हाउ डू यू अप्लाई दिस प्रैक्टिकली it is said it is better to accept miseries of being engaged in within bars or be surrounded than to associate with those who are bereft of krishna consciousness and this is so how will you apply this now how how would you you know like you are in the association of materialist you will literally burn fire around you so that you don't associate with them how will you apply this it's a comparison yes you are correct about it yeah just maintain association to the point it is necessary uh, needed and uh, don't get too intimate with them no but see the verse is saying you know it's better to accept the being behind the bars or burning flames how do you literally put this in practice the verse is saying this do you literally do that no no you cannot do that literally but then how when the why the verse is saying like this how do you implement this verse in your life the verse is saying that you should draw the line wherever okay no still yes yes parsati prabhu ji yes hare krishna prabhu ji uh, here what i understand is that uh, one should uh, be conscious about what one is doing he should not enjoy the association of those who are uh, the impersonalist or uh, material enjoyers Oh, krishna it is the stress on krishna consciousness uh, uh, one should uh, find But enjoyment how, with krishna consciousness my, my question is the verse is saying you know you see materialist just go in a room and lock yourself behind the bars or you see you are in the you know i'm giving a literal example of a, you are in the train all around materialist so uh you just burn around yourself around you um, burning flames so that you don't associate with them literally you do it or how do we how do you apply this because the verse is saying that uh, accept and deal with only what is required in this material world and one should be eager one should have uh, greed for uh, uh, associating with people where, who where are it is mentioned all that where it is mentioned all that you are saying you are giving a different purpose where it is mentioned how do you literally apply it burning flames or being engaged in a in a in bars how do you feel how live do you live in a live in a community of devotees don't live uh, no 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 you're not out of community point. how do you literally apply this you are saying lit- living in the community of devotees you you never go in the community of materialist people are you getting my point you don't go in the community of materialist people uh, uh, no uh, meaning uh, uh, only for uh, job or for yeah, some yeah, you are you are now in the community of materialist people so that time you know it is better to be surrounded by bl- blaming burning flames than to associate with these people so better to have burning flames then around them around us so that we don't associate with them how do you literally apply this verse <laughs> the verse is literally saying that i want you all to think a little deep you know sometimes shastras have to be clearly understood yes many have raised their hands okay we'll ask all of them let us see महामंत्री yes or... the main point is that in our consciousness we should feel like that oh when will i you know i am you know i am in surrounded by materialists oh when will i be in that kirtan you know when will i be in the association of devotees that kind of hankering if we are having then will not get affected by that so the burning flames means there should be a burning desire oh when will i come to the association of devotees so this is not a literal thing to be done 
but it is a metamorphical, it is a symbolic thing which we should implement. That was the point I wanted to make. I hope it is clear. Any questions on this? Like, you know, greed is affecting me. So I should become greedy for association of devotees. So like that, uh, when, you know, when these materialist people are there, you should have a burning desire to, you know, when will I be in the association? Oh, I am surrounded by materialistic people. It will take me to materialist consciousness. So I should call out for the help of, you know, the Lord by chanting or, you know, uh, remembrance of uh, Krishna in the association of devotees in the Mangal Arati, like that. So that is the way uh, we should uh, metamorphically apply this verse and not literally. You cannot do this literally. That's the point I wanted to make. Okay, there are questions with respect to this. Yes, Sunita Mataji. Yes, I've unmuted him. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have a question? Yes, Parth Sarthi Prabhuji, you have a question? Yes, Prabhuji, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the level of con Krishna consciousness uh, which is uh, referred here? Uh, because uh, there can be, uh, you know, in a modern scenario, there can be, uh, uh, there are, you will be living among, uh, in a community with the Kanishta Dikaris. And, uh, so, what is the level of Krishna consciousness referred here? There is no level of Krishna consciousness referred here, but be he a Kanishta or a Madhyama or a Uttama, if he is a Kanishta and he is taking pleasure in that materialistic association, then he will be drifted, he will be deviated. So, anyone has to apply. A Madhyama Dikari will be careful. A Uttama Dikari, uh, he is at a very high level of consciousness. So, you know, he can transform the materialist into devotees also. So, all three will apply this based on their level of consciousness. But for the Kanishta, it is most important that he should develop this. And that is important. No, I no, hope it is clear. My question was, my question was uh, here, uh, uh, because uh, like me, uh, practically, uh, sometimes I don't find uh, pleasure in uh, going towards that uh, when will I uh, be able to uh, be with those people who are Krishna conscious? Because uh, if we don't really come, again, come, come, again, come again. Hold, hold on. So, let me so come again. What did you say? So uh, practically, there are instances where I don't actually relish uh, being in the association of those who are Krishna conscious. So uh, here, uh, uh, so uh, you know, because I don't get pleasure. Uh, it's a uh, practical answer because uh, there are a lot of uh, dis disqualifications in me. So, uh, uh, so because then it, you know, there can be fault. I can be uh, uh, finding fault with the other uh, uh, Kanishta Dikaris. Uh, there will be blasphemy. There will be fault finding. With that. So, uh, so to find pleasure in uh, the Krishna consciousness uh, of the devotees, what is the level of devotees? Uh, whom I should be, uh, you know, uh, uh, having greed for to get their association. What is the level? Uh, should I be? Uh, yeah, okay. We should order? always have the greed for having the association of the Uttamadikaris. The standard is given in the uh, nectar of instructions. Uh, in Nectar of Instruction, text 5, uh, Rupa Goswami is saying that Krishneti uh, yasya uh, giritam manasadriyeta that those who are Kanishtas, we offer respects. 
madhyama should offer respects dikshasti chet pranati for one who has taken diksha he should offer respectful obeisances and shushush bhajan vigya nindadi shunya hridaya ipsita sangalabva we should have the desire to associate with these mahabhagavas whose heart is spotless there is no uh, uh, nindadi shunya his heart is but you know it's very rare to get such a association of a sadhu also and even if such a sadhu comes to a center whether we can get that personal association is also rare so all types of devotees are there and all types of devotees we have to deal but the art is how to deal with all these types of devotees for that we have to know all devotees are not at the same level some are kanishta some are madhyama some are uttama and based on their level we have to offer them respects and accordingly associate this is the general principle thank is you. it okay thank you uh any other question anyone has there was one more hand raised and uh, hamsini mata ji you have typed the question but it is better you can speak out what exactly is the question hare krishna prabhu ji dhanyavad pranam as you asked me prabhu ji this uh, regarding 91 that in the bars mm-hmm. surrounded by the burning flames for this i have uh, i have explained that prabhu ji you have explained it prabhu ji my 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 by my knowledge i explained it prabhu ji okay i am not really understanding what exactly you are saying uh my knowledge my knowledge says prabhu ji like uh, if he if he associate uh, initial as a vaishnava god said that we have to we have to first at that situation we have to be, be tolerant and then next we have to uh, take patience in and meditate upon the krishna lord and afterwards next step what we have to take the guidance from what we to do is upon that we have to take the guidance from that guru no my point is uh, very simple that this verse doesn't literally mean that you should be surrounded by burning flames or you should you know be encaged within bars when you are in such association here at the consciousness level we should you know feel that you know oh i am in this materialistic association when will i you know we should hanker when will be i in the association of so at a consciousness level we have to literally work on not at a uh, physical level or a literal level that was a you know that is how we should understand this verse that was my point so we have to work at a, it's a metaphor it is a metaphor in a, in a metaphorical sense we have to understand this verse that was my point proposes this is a quotation from the katyani samitha <clears throat> second reference we'll take this and finish ma driksh drakshi sheena punyan kwachit api bhagavat bhakti hina manushan one should not even see those who are bereft of devotional service in krishna consciousness or who are therefore devoid of pious activities so this is the second reference now if you see out in the world if you go everyone is not a devotee then <laughs> one should not even see so then how will you apply this verse now in your practical life we'll end we'll end with this today how will you apply this verse outside just when you go out it's all material consciousness and that material consciousness atmosphere is going to affect you <clears throat> everyone you see is all out there materialist yes parsati kuli yes let us see yes how will you apply this uh, accept and deal with only what is required in this material i need some practical answer <laughs> 
How like will a, you apply this verse when you are out outside and you see everyone is not Krishna conscious? They is, they are all materialist, so one should not even see such a person. <laughs> they are devoid of all pious activities. So how will you apply this verse? Like for example, uh, if you are uh, you want to earn money, so you have to have a job. So you, you have to go to office and you have to uh, talk with uh, and you have to deal uh, so that you have to uh, fulfill your responsibility there in the office. But uh, don't uh, appreciate, uh, don't uh, uh, compare uh, the materialists whom you are seeing in the office with the devotees and think that the materialists are better off than the devotees. Though the materialists may show some uh, good qualities, don't appreciate. You can look at them but don't appreciate that they are better off than devotees because they are, after all, uh, only carried out by the three modes of material nature. Whereas the qualities, uh, whereas the devotees, uh, they are uh, uh, connected to Krishna and they will eventually get the good qualities of Krishna. So, again, uh, like this, we have to accept and deal only what is required to in this material world, but you have to side by side uh, prepare for your afterlife to go back to uh... oh sorry sorry yeah yeah I got your point yeah we have to prepare ourselves to go after death we should go back to Godhead hmm. side I, by side we I have still, to prepare I still need a very practical answer anyone else <laughs> how will you apply this verse one should not even see those who are bereft of you not even see them and they are devoid of pious activities. You should not even see them with dissension. How do you apply this? Yeah, Hamsini Mataji will give a first chance. Okay. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. Just avoid the, those uh, people. You go out from your house. There are thousands of people out on the street. Will you avoid them? How will you avoid no, just them? Under, just understanding their uh, their be attitudes and their uh, activities. Just we avoid the, those. When you go out, uh, you see materialistic people, first of all, tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's full when of materialistic This verse is saying one should not even see. How will you apply this then verse? <laughs> <laughs> From their actions, Prabhuji, we are just to be just be avoid ourselves. We uh, we should be in a pure mode. Try to try to maintain ourselves. I want some again practical answer. I know it is difficult, uh, but still you are all trying. I'm happy about it. Sunita Mataji, yes. Yes, Mataji, I have unmuted him. There is, um, I have unmuted you, Mataji. Are you able to, you have to unmute from your side. No response. Veena Mataji, yes. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Shloka, I had such a situation. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yeah, Mataji, you can tell me. Hari Bol. I think there is some technical problem. Anyone else would like to try? Like I think there is some problem with your audio at your end. Yes. Hare, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes. Uh, we can... No, no. There is some problem with your audio. Okay, Archana Mataji. One second. Yeah. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the the scenario is like one should not even see those who are bereft of devotional service and Krishna consciousness okay. and who are therefore devoid of pious activities. So in this situation, 
uh, I know I have to face these people day in day out. Yes. But uh, uh, since I'm studying uh, studying the scriptures and I'm quite aware of this fact that we all are part and parcel of Krishna. So with mm -hmm. my consciousness, I will try to find look at them as a uh, uh, they are also kids of Krishna or there is a, some part of uh, Krishna Tattva in there. So maybe with that frame of mind, uh, I will train myself in this way. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Virendra Yadav Prabhuji, you would like to say something? Yeah, one second. Huh? Yes. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Dhanad Pram. Prabhu, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Mamai Vansho Jeev Loke Jeev Hutchanatana. So, we can see in that line, ki finally all living entities, they are part and parcel of Krishna only. So, and uh, they are available everywhere. So, we cannot definitely avoid it, but we can see them as part and parcel of Krishna. And uh, and uh, we know that their consciousness conscious is not uh, Krishna consciousness. So, uh, we we have to uh, we have to avoid their um, you know uh, we have to avoid their uh, close uh, uh, close contacts in terms of uh, revealing our hearts and those all things. Yeah, that we, doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You you're here is only question of seeing. You know, there is no sangha there. Sangha so, is different. Yeah. Right? So I got all your points now. Basically. You know, to even see them as part and parcels is a very elevated level of consciousness. Because if you are connected deeply with Krishna, you can see them as part and parcel of Krishna. You know, so the best way to see when you are in, out in this kind of association is to see with eyes of compassion that they are all devoid of Krishna consciousness. And especially like bhajans like Bhakti Narutam Das Thakur, Hari Hari Vipale. <clears throat> Manusha Janamba Paino, Radha Krishna, Nabajana, Janiya Shuniya, Vishakhainu. Hari Hari Vipal. He is lamenting. You know, these people have got this human form of life and they are worst, wasting it in <clears throat> sense gratification and they are not using it for practicing their Krishna consciousness. So this you should apply to them also and for yourself also. This is for personal application as well as for others. So in that way, you protect your consciousness. I hope it is clear, right? I hope it is clear. So we'll stop here and we'll continue our discussion in the next coming week. She... Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai, Srila Sanatana Goswami ki jai, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit ki jai, Hare Krishna. Any clarifications you have regarding this last point? Anyone has any clarifications? Okay, so we'll stop here then. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Hare Krishna.